Hey guys, jewelry is super popular guys, which means it's also a really competitive market. If you want to make your mark in the reselling world, you are in the right place. In this video, I'll go over the essential tools and gears you need to optimize your jewelry business. The first gear we need is just a camera. In today's world, having a nice camera is super important for capturing details of your jewelry, accurate colors or you know shiny little parts like gemstones. When picking a camera, just get any uh, DSLR or a mirrorless camera available. This type are better than your phone and uh, it's better also than a point and shoot camera because obviously they take clearer pictures. If you have no idea guys, let me suggest you a few camera. For beginners, I recommend the Panasonic Lumix G85 which offer a great quality without breaking the banks. If you are looking for uh, something more professional, uh, the Canon EOS R6 delivers stunning details and excellent in low light performance. For those who want the best of the best, the Sony Alpha A7R3 is a fantastic choice with its incredible dynamic range. The camera model is not really the most important. In my opinion, the most important is having a good macro lens. This kind of lens help you to take clear picture of small things like jewelry. A better macro lens also has less distortion, which make it easier, especially when you're using technique like focus stacking. Next, you'll want to get your hands with some uh, strobe flashlights, you know, with the cable on the back. Two will be great. One light can light up the background and the other can create cool shadow effects. I recommend the Godox, the cheapest brand out there, the Cutie 400 Studio Flash Strobe. It's affordable and it works well. 400 watts, it's plenty of power. You can even use it to take pictures with a model. Also check out the new BFP Gobo Light shaping uh, modifier for your flash. It helps you uh, make amazing shadow effect and lets you focus the light on specific parts of your jewelry. Investing in a photography setup is one of the best thing we can do right now. Since so much money is made online, even if we don't succeed as a jewelry sellers, come on guys, we can still make money as a product photographer or just photographer. We already know how to take great pictures of jewelry and so we can do also fashion photography guys it's the same stuff so now we know guys photography is all about the gear the better our gear the better our pictures will turn out it's kind of like a pay to win game but the good part is we don't need to depend on creativity alone next you want to get a computer and a tethering cable this setup lets you work more efficiently by saving your file directly to your pc it really saves you a lot of time and effort, especially when you have a lot of jewelry to photograph. For newer camera, you might not even need a tethering cable. Some models can connect uh, using USB-C or even Wi-Fi nowadays. Next tool I recommend guys, but this is optional, is Capture One. Capture One is a special photo editing program made for photographers. It helps you edit organize and connect your camera to your computer. One cool feature is tethering, which lets you take pictures directly into your computer while adjusting camera setting in real time. This is really helpful to get the perfect shot. The next software you really need guys is Photoshop. It's perfect for editing your pictures and uh, taking them to the next level. With Photoshop, you can make your image stand out from your competitors. You can even create an industrial style look for your jewelry, which is great for uh, platforms like Amazon that have a specific requirement. For those who are watching this video and interested, I'll leave you the tools you need to create 
those industrial looking pictures in the description below. It's totally free. Photoshop lets you design your own banner or A plus content description. So you won't have to pay someone else to do it. The next tool you should definitely check out is AI like a uh, chat GPT or uh, perplexity. These tools are totally free and can help you create or rewrite titles for your jewelry listing based on the platform you are selling. This means you can also make your listing more appealing and better suit for places like Amazon. Plus AI can save you a lot of time and help you with your SEO ranking. The last tool you definitely need is a cross-listing application. These days selling in one platform isn't enough. It's risky to put all your eggs in one basket. Any type of cross-listing app will work. But personally me, I use Nimble uh, because it's the only one available in Asia. And uh, that lets me cross-list and manage my inventory across different platforms like eBay, Amazon, and Shopify. This way I can keep everything organized and make sure I don't sell the same item twice. All right, everyone, if you find this video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy selling.